leading up to this World Cup have been very like day to day. Um, I try to go out every single day and um, be better than I was in the previous day because I know if I'm making those 1% gains then hopefully that I would make the team and um, be able to play in a World Cup. Yeah, that feeling um, would be amazing to get that call from Jill, I think. Um, just any time that you can actually like hear it um, from your coach that your one of your dreams is coming true, um, it'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, this year has been a lot different. I think that it's more competitive. Um, every training is a day to get after it and get better. And it's, it's great for me, um, so when I do go into camp, I am sharp and um, have had that good training. So to be able to kind of elevate my game here has really helped me. I think scoring a goal anytime is super exciting. Um, but yeah, scoring a goal um, in my debut, the main thing I noticed and realized was like how loud the crowd was, because I've never played um, in front of a crowd like that um, and like even now too like when you score a goal for the national team and you just like hear the crowd um, screaming for you and for what you just did it's like kind of like a surreal moment so yeah I think um, they're definitely definitely the same still. I feel like to be able to play in a World Cup um, is like once in a lifetime experience and um, so I feel like that can only come around one time so really just like taking in every single moment and whether it's good or bad um, just really taking it in because you never know when that would happen again um, and then also I think I'm looking forward to just like seeing women's soccer after this World Cup because I like truly believe that um, after this World Cup um, women's soccer is going to be like booming all over the world. Yeah, the 99er reunion was really, really cool. Um, to have all of them back and in the same place um, right before the World Cup was amazing. Just to kind of like see all of them because they are such like an iconic team. They were the ones that kick-started uh, women's soccer in America and gave me the opportunity to be able to play on the national team. So to be able to um, like see them there and I remember I was like, I was like kind of fangirling. Kind of a lot was fangirling. <laughs> Anytime you are able to put the crest on, um, or honestly any jersey, and step out on the field, you're having an impact. And it's, it's really cool to see like how this sport has grown. And I believe that it's not even close to where it can be. The Olympics, I definitely was just like a young um, player and like kind of just was like going out there like, yeah, like having fun, you know? Um, so I think definitely taking that piece um, from the Olympics and bringing it over to the World Cup because um, I, I really believe in like having that fun aspect. Um, if you don't have that, then like things aren't going to go well. So continuing to like kind of bring that over um, even though it is a World Cup and it is the biggest stage that any footballer can be on um, not really not really thinking it as that and just like going out and having fun putting that jersey on means a lot to me um, ever since I was little I wanted to be on the national team and to actually be on the national team now I like look back and I'm like like weird but I'm like so thankful and just like so humbled that I am able to be on the national team and represent my country and do what I love with the people that are just like so inspiring and my friends and um, and just kind of continue to inspire others because I really think that jersey um, when you if someone puts that jersey on um, you're being an inspiration for others.